For fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 22 coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. Use code MMG for 10% off. Ah! Ah! Boys! Listen, I'm so sorry. Yes, I know I'm the most irresponsible, slowest, yada yada, whatever. Say whatever you want, all right? But finally, you're getting an episode where I have upgraded all the players to where they should be. I think this is the worst I've ever been about it, this last, like, week stretch. I tried so hard to be, like, Galaxy Brain and predict exactly when Team of the Year was coming out based on last year, but I forgot one crucial thing. The Super Bowl is a week later than it was last year because there's 17 weeks of football this year. So it was stupid as hell of me to try to predict it like that. Uh, and I apologize. Either way, let me show you all the beautiful new upgrades we have on today's Wheel of Month. Before we clap cheeks, upgrade Debo, get to the playoffs, and have a fucking amazing time. Number one is Team of the Year, Darren Waller. The question is, did he deserve it? The answer is no. He did not deserve Team, he did not deserve team of the Year at all. You know, Mark Andrews was the sixth leading receiver in the entire NFL. Isn't that fucking crazy? Like, he had more receiving yards Mark Andrews did. And Tyree Kill and Diggs. That's crazy. Now, I have nobody to thank except for the people who botted votes because they are sweaty losers for this Darren Waller, but you know what? Thank you, boys. 98 overall Darren Waller. The prestige paid off. I was really worried that we were never gonna get another Darren Waller. What do you know? He's 95 speed, 97 catch, 95 catch of traffic. And guess what? Now I'm so happy that I idiotically never upgraded Darren Waller because this is now the best tight end in the game. Because there are all those moments where we could have gotten somebody better, but I stayed low loyal to my boy, unlike I've ever stayed loyal to any girl in my whole life. And guess what? We get a 98 as a reward. He was already so good as a 92. This is just even better. Offensive line looks great. DK Metcalf, AJ Brown. Definitely got to get ourselves a super legitimate halfback. I mean, going into the playoffs, we can't have Etienne here and we can't have Max Williams at fullback. We need something new there. As well as a backup tight end would also be nice because this does come in a lot. Debo, we did a great job last episode. I know you guys are getting frustrated like Meeks, bro. Get a fucking upgrade. I finally did. And you guess what? We're one, two, three, four away from a 93. Five puts him at a 95 and six out. Oh! The prophecy has come true. I knew there was going to be a Debo team in the year. It really wasn't hard to predict. So it's not like I'm a genius or anything. But wait a second. Do you see that? Why does he have four? Is it once you get a player to a 98, they get four ability slots? Holy shit. Oh, oh, that's why Darren Waller doesn't have it. Darren Waller is a 96 boosted to a 97. And then he's a 98 with my chemistries. This is actually a 98 overall Debo. Damn, this is my first time I've ever seen this. Awesome. So we've got some time until we get to that point. If we have more games like that, I, I would love, best case scenario, Debo Samuel by the first game of the playoffs. He is a 97 or 98 overall. Then I'll switch him with DK. DK will come to wide receiver two and our wide receiver one will basically be the best wide receiver in the game. It's a beautiful thing. And also I actually did upgrade Ramsey last episode. I just didn't do a very good job of communicating that to you guys. Um, I did it and then I forgot to tell you. So I know a lot of you are frustrated like me because there's a Ramsey upgrade. I did have it for the last three episodes. Again, like with my relationships. I just wasn't very good at communicating. <laughs> Fuck, dude. 96, uh, 97 with the boost. Love to see that. I wouldn't be too shocked if he got another really good card, but we'll have to see if that does happen. In the long run, we gotta get Quincy Williams out of there. He's doing a great job as just like a fill-in high-speed user, but he's just bad. <laughs> he's just bad. And then D-tackles, left end, not so great in corner three, Divine Diablo. He's making it happen, but it's just, he's just a fill-in. And wow, I need a focused kicker. So I think if I can emphasize anything on today's episode, focus kicker is my number one priority. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this wheel is stupid. <laughs> Look at how big the wheel is. I don't think the wheel has ever had this many options on it. Let's see what we got today. It's oh, oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Do you guys know what that means? <laughs> Wait a second. They gave the, they put the tribute better on this burger in the trading store? I didn't even know that. Well, that's fucking insane because literally all three of these are on the table right now. Oh shit. Here's the only problem. The only problem is, is if I get a duplicate, I'm fucked. Like, like, if I were on offense, if I got, like, Justin Herbert. Oh, this is sketchy. I think I'm gonna do one of each. All right, one for offense. I want Tony Pollard or Patterson. So a new halfback. That'd be sick as fuck. On defense, if I could get a middle linebacker, I think it's Fred Warner. That would be insane. And specialist if I got the kicker. That is the best case scenario. I gotta go quick sell some stuff. Three times training store packs is usually so, like, meh. But now that team of the year is in, holy shit. Also, as you guys know, if I'm in the playoffs and I complete a challenge reel, we're not in the playoffs yet. But when I am in the playoffs and complete a challenge wheel, I can buy any pack from the store, not just coins. So in the playoffs, completing the challenge wheel is going to be insane for the same reason that this spin is insane right now. Dude, this is huge. I'm going to be so livid if we get all dupes. There's a couple of amazing case scenarios and there's a couple of really bad case scenarios. Let's just pray, baby. We got three trading star packs. Our first one is team of the year offense. Come on, baby. 
baby! Come on, baby! Come on! <laughs> How does that happen? Oh my god! All right, hey, we gotta clutch up on defense. I'm not gonna cheat this, all right? I'm not gonna cheat this. I'm not gonna quick sell him and re-roll. Defense, come on, baby! You gotta clutch up now! I just got hold! You have to clutch up defense! We got... That's a ward! That ain't bad at all. Divine Diablo is a bit of a liability in that secondary right now. I think Denzel Ward will actually end up being a starter. We'll move my... I don't even know all the time I had who my corner two is, but Denzel Ward, amazing. Specialist! I think it's Nick Folk. Come on, baby. <laughs> Give me the kicker! I've never wanted a kicker so bad in my whole life! Do it, baby! Do it! Ooh, ooh, that's actually nasty! Yes! Yes! Oh, that could have been so bad. We got fucking clapped on Darren Waller, but our other two were actually big clutch ups. Javon Hargrave is huge. The weakest points on my defense, other than middle linebacker. Oh, yeah, my other corner's DK. All right, good. So now Denzel Ward can be the other starting corner, and DK can move to corner three. And then Javon Hargrave, I mean, this is the, the biggest weak point on this defense is D tackles right now, other than middle linebacker obviously so get Javon Hargrave in there takes us up to a 91 overall we might even be a 92 when I throw DK in right here definitely got to give Denzel Ward acrobat oh that could have been I dude I would have loved a team of the year halfback like those are some of my favorite cards in the game right now I love that Pollard and the Patterson that's only wheel spin one we can still get something good on wheel spin two oh uh, yeah we go acrobat here for sure let him just do his thing don't gotta throw anything else on him our first wheel spin gets us 296 overall players and one Darren Moore that we already had, but hey, it's, it is what it is, baby. Our next one is, oh God, this one always, dude, this one fucking, ah! This one actually always tweaks me out because I never remember off the top of my head. Oh, top 10, yes, holy shit, oh my God. Top 10, Auburn, Auburn, go to Auburn, go to Auburn, go! Ah! Who's Auburn? I'm saying that like I knew all the Auburn players. Uh, Cam Newton was Auburn, right? I ain't getting Cam Newton. I'm just thinking out loud. I could get Cam Newton middle linebacker though. Daniel Carlson? Wait a second. Does he have a good card? Dude, Daniel Carlson was so fucking clutch for the Raiders this whole year. If he doesn't have a card, I am gonna be pissed. Why doesn't he have a fucking upgrade? Mm, that pisses me off. Daniel Carlson was a god. He should have like a 93 overall kicker that I could have put focus kicker on. You know, I was getting so hyped for Auburn, but I don't think any of these players are really that helpful for me. Does Uzuma have a good card he's an 85 it's kind of a bummer i can't believe i'm saying this i actually cannot believe i'm saying this i think cam newton middle linebacker is my best pick they have a ton of players but none of them are good or useful for me this sounds so stupid but i'm buying an 89 overall middle linebacker cam newton because it is the best purchase here he's low-key kind of good though 89 speed 89 excel his intangibles as an actual linebacker are not good but neither are quincy williams so this is a this is an upgrade the challenge wheel is underway and I have some explaining to do. Let me see this challenge wheel first, then I'll explain it. Um, one TD, 100 plus yards with one player. I like this challenge a lot. I feel good about it. We'll see who it ends up being. We're just gonna play as best we can in the first half and then make a decision after that. I should be four and two right now. I am actually five and two. The reason is uh, I was making the team of the year pack and play video last week and I accidentally queued up into a game. I was trying to play house rules and I queued up into a game and got the win. Hold on. Some people in the comments were saying, well, Papa Meeks, you did that on purpose so you'd be closer to the Super Bowl. I did not do it on purpose, but I am very happy that it happened because it works out great. We're two wins away from making the playoffs right now. We're also two losses away from my whole hopes and dreams being fucking crushed. So I'm gonna work my ass off right now. I'm gonna try and play the best football that I can play so that we can get a dub and I don't have to worry about that. Oh, all right, baby. Let's have a good game, yeah? He said, I love you. Oh, boy. We're in for a game, baby. Oh, I didn't mean to put the Y. I didn't mean to put the Y. Now it looks like I'm questioning him. Now, some people think that when I play subscribers, it makes the game easier for me. You are so wrong if you believe that. I'm sorry. Whenever I play anybody who knows me, oh, my God, they go so fucking hard. I've never seen people try harder in my whole life. I respect it, though. That means we should get a good game here. And we got a fumble on the fucking gates. Chase Young, take this shit into the end zone. Let's go. Oh, my God. I mean, he did get rocked on the first hit and the second. But it is uncharacteristic to see a fumble that early. All right, we got Etienne. Let's go with the stretch. I mean, we just... Basically got handed the ball. So I'm not about to hand it back on a stupid pass. Uh, if I have to take a field goal here, I totally will. Let's just make smart plays this whole time. Yes. Oh, it's man. Oh, I could have thrown Etienne. If I had bigger balls, that was a beta drive. That was super beta. I'll just take my field goal. I have to imagine he's not going to go back to the run game. Play action. PA boot over. We see this a lot. Good stop. Corner route? No. 
Uh, step up for him. We've got, oh no. The cover three beater. <laughs> what a spin two but We do stop him on the two. I think it's gonna be a run. Oh, it's not. What's he doing here? Oh, oh, that's a stop. Let's go, baby. Could be the run. It is, it is, it is. And that's another stop. Third and goal. And now he's thinking about his play call. This is what I live for. Gotta be QB sneak. Yup. Oh, I thought, I thought we could stop it. Wait, wait, that might be good news, actually. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bro, I know. Tell me about it. We really did have such a great start to that game, but he came right back and scored. I was going to get ball at half. It looked like it was going to be a good game throughout. So, hey, if I can just get queued up against him again, I don't, and I get bailed because this guy's team is way worse. Wow. I got to say, though, I'm very happy that EA has finally addressed it, at least in some way. It's dog shit that you can even desync from a game, but at least nobody gets a win for no reason. Let's not be so scared on offense i'm embarrassed with how how beta i was oh he's doing the same play as the last guy he did the exact same play as the last guy damn it lots of audibles uh the underneath is oh jesus christ i don't think it's gonna be an easier game i think it's gonna be a harder game that is what <laughs> he, he just made the ugliest catch ever but it actually worked out because he caught it a little too close all right we need 100 yards and one touchdown with one player uh, Tebow gets an opportunity to scramble here. We're just going to take it. Yeah, he backed everybody off. Ooh, Metcalf corner cannot handle. And remember, this is team of the year Waller now, all right? Oh, ooh, Debo. Oh, no, he's sitting on that. Etienne, user's great, but we're still going to get four yards. Third and six. Third and six. Oh, I can playmaker Waller, can't I? There he is. There he is! What a play! Let's go, Tebow! He's scrambling on his feet, making a perfect throw on the run. I, You know what I love most about Tebow is he does not need dashing data. He makes those throws so often, and I don't have to waste a bunch of AP on dashing data. He just makes the play. I want to snap this. Do we have time? Do we have time? Holy shit, take a little longer to get back there, bud. He sees Bruh. it. What the fuck? Don't tell me. He just did that. Are you shitting me? That was so fucked up. That was the computer. Not a good time to learn that DNs can do that now. He goes play action. He's got a stop route. I think he's just looking for the user playmaker. No way. Gotcha, bitch. No fucking way. What? In what universe can you throw that on a cover four? I am severely outgunned. That's there. Oh, it's not. Well, guys, we're playing great defense on two-point conversions. We need to play great defense on the fucking touchdowns. She's gonna go underneath to Metcalf. Great move. Stop and go. I was so wrong. Oh, shit. He fucking switched back on? What is this guy running? He's killing everything I'm doing. I saw his corner go up the field, thought that was open, and he switched right back onto the route. He's good at throwing that, too. I don't know if he really has to think too hard about these throws. Oh, he wants to come back, right? Okay, good, good. That's what we need. We need that badly. Oh, a block there would have been huge, but okay. He can make bad throws. Just knowing that makes me feel so much better. I mean, it could be obviously the case that he's throwing shittier passes because he doesn't care nearly as much because he's winning by so much. One touchdown here, ball at half. That is our path to still winning this game. Oh, damn it. He got a screamer off that. That Jack Youngblood is a fucking menace to society, dude. Darren Waller right here. Get a juke. Great play. Get through him. Great play. The time to lock in is not when you're down 12 to 0, but I love that score, too. Stop two, two points. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it was there, but that still is. Gonna look for uh, Darren Waller underneath. Bingo. Drop those puppies off, dude. He's dropping off so hard. Do I try it? I don't want a fucking field goal. It's still a two-possession game. I'm going for this shit. It's first and goal, and I want Debo Samuel to get it. Come on, baby. Debo Samuel got him with no time on the fucking clock. Let's go. God, that was ballsy. Oh, my God. That whole drive was ballsy. Oh, my God. 7 to 12. One more touchdown, 14 to 12, and this shit ain't over. I did not mean to run this. I'm actually going to try it, though. Fuck yeah. Accidental halfback stretch. 
There's Waller. Don't get in the way, Metcalf. <laughs> Third and one. Stay in the pocket. Just wait. Why? Why? Oh, it's Debo. Fuck! Oh, if he had been able to stay in the end zone somehow, I could have had another Devo touchdown. I'm actually gonna try an inside zone. I'm pulling so many people into QB spies that I should get good blocks. Oh, Etienne, you fucking animal! You think he drops off enough to where an out route is open, Debo Samuel? Mm, maybe. BJ Brown's gonna come over and move somebody and Debo's gonna be able to get this. Fourth and goal! Oh, it's not there. Oh no. I gotta go Debo here on the playmaker! Uh -huh. Oh, he dropped it! No, and it's gonna be a touchback. I like the play call. I threw to my Debo Samuel. I have no regrets. All right, he wants to just heave something deep, right? He loves these crazy ass deep routes. Oh yes, oh yes. Done. Okay, how is he just barely getting it every fucking time? I'm that close. I sent people. Wow, you gotta love that. Well, at least I feel good about going for it because field goal would have done me no good. It would be the same score completely regardless. Let's see if he continues to suck on two points. He does, 18 to nine though. How do we feel about that score? You think he, <laughs> You're so good at the game, why can't you switch on and make a tackle? Holy fuck, his team is fast. Hey, I'm running his play and it works. No, you're out of bounds, aren't you? That's fucked up. Wait, I got a playmaker, Darren Waller here. Go up the field, Darren. No, he's coming down the field, you fucking idiot. I click playmaker, he doesn't go anywhere. It comes towards me. Oh, that was a, a there was like an 80 yard bomb right there. These are like the basic YouTube cover three beaters, but they're fucking working. Like that. <laughs> Wait, no, I take it back. That was nasty as fuck. I don't know what that was. Z spot, stop and go. I have to rethink my game plan now. He still can't get two point converts though. So that's kind of exciting. Oh, back right. Darren Waller already has 100, but he has no touchdowns. My only touchdown is Debo, and he's got 28. So we either feed the ball to Debo or try and get a Darren Waller touchdown. Challenge would be super nice because we could salvage one of those really good players we got. See, so who gets playmaker? Oh, so now Debo wants to get fucking playmaker? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my god. That's the exact play I did last time. And I played Maker Debo and he ran up the field. That would have been a lot of the yards that we needed for Debo there too. He's gonna somehow just launch over the top when I'm playing over the top pass. See, this is what I thought. <laughs> no way. You know, in hindsight, I kind of wish I didn't get a desync. I think I would have rather played a subscriber at this point. Yeah, go over the top. Go over the top and, and throw that big one that you're always throwing. Throw it. Throw it. See, like this. This is how it should have been. Oh my fucking God. Oh, that's funny. This is how it should have been setting up the whole time. I don't get it. What's different now? It's the same fucking play. I'm running the same fucking defense. How is this different now? Now I'm guarding it every time? Dude, he's kind of he's kind of speedy. Oh, let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. That's fine. Oh, this guy's buzzkill. All right, let's just run commit. Hopefully he'll throw like a laser. Well, if you're gonna do that, just kneel it. Well, now he'll probably throw it in. Ooh, that was a cool play. This guy's got the playbook, boy. Go in. All right. Nine seconds to score, Darren Waller. You think it's possible? Oh, he's on the D lineman. That's good news. <laughs> Would I have gotten enough yards with Debo there? I don't think so. Well, you guys know the age old saying, if I beat somebody, they fucking suck. And if uh, somebody beats me, they've never seen a blade of grass in their whole life. They should probably go outside and get some friends. And I think this guy should probably go outside and get some friends. I lose the players too. I'm gonna lose Cam Newton, Javon Hargrave, Denzel Ward. I will say they didn't really do anything. I don't think I even noticed Denzel Ward. And if anything, my secondary got torched. So I'm not like up in arms about losing him. But it is a bummer. The first guy said he's gonna be in the episode. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely, my guy. I'm gonna be depressed if that other guy messaged me. He could say whatever he wants, and I just have to take it. Wanna send me Darren Waller? You deserve him, respectfully. All right, boys, we have no choice but to win in the next episode and to win in the episode after that. So, I love you, boys. Thanks for watching, as always. I gotta get you two dubs. Hopefully, if I can get both those dubs in the same episode, like get a rage quit. Oh my god, that is the best case scenario. But hey, we can't pray for something like that. We just gotta play our hearts out. All right, I love you, boys. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.